Welcome to this video course of Section 2 of Python, Numerical and Scientific Computing with SciPy. In this section about Python, we'll be covering an overview of Python in Engineering and Scientific Computing, also Python and the IPython, now Jupyter, Notebook. Moving on to the first video of this section, we'll be dealing with an overview of Python in Engineering and Scientific Computing. Specifically in this video, we're going to take a look at a general presentation on how Python has been extended to be used in science, to be used in science and engineering fields. Python is a multi-paradigm computing language that has become very popular in science and engineering, a fact which can be made explicit by looking at the amount of modules available to perform quantitative analysis in all of the areas of organized knowledge. Browse through this link to see the modules available here. A few of them, which we're studying in this video course, are NumPy, SciPy, and matplotlib. We should point out, however, that many other available resources are not listed in this website. We need to use an internet browser to find them. Parallel computing is an important aspect of high-performance computation in science and engineering, for which many tools have been migrated to Python. Take a look at the documentation on the development version of IPython. Many other Python modules can be browsed at this link. As it's shown here, when you browse the website, the list appears in alphabetical order. Once we've finished this brief tour on the modules of Python, you might be wondering on the minimum setup necessary to perform computational tasks on your own in Python. This is provided by four modules. One, NumPy, which includes among other functionalities, fast, memory efficient, and high performance, and high performance multidimensional array structure, ND arrays for efficient computing via vectorized arithmetic operations. 2. SciPy, which includes high performance functions for scientific and engineering computing, taking advantage of the high performance NumPy arrays, on which SciPy has a strong dependency. 3. Matplotlib, for visualization of data. And finally, 4. SymPy, for symbolic computation. We'll be covering NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib in this video course. In a few cases, we'll use SymPy to show some results, but we're not going to study it at this video course. But we're not going to study it, as this video course is based on numerical computations. There's some more specific mentions of the use of Python in scientific and engineering computations. They are linear algebra, continuing with numerical analysis, signal processing, data mining, and computational geometry. An important topic to end this tour is how Python interacts with other languages. We'll be taking a look at them in detail in the upcoming sections. In this video, we went through a few of the capabilities of Python for performing scientific and engineering computations.